long time ago, an arrogant human built a tower so tall that it punctured the sky, reaching the place where the gods resided. The gods were appalled by this demonstration, and they doled out a vicious punishment to remind all humans of their inferiority. Now another human has reached the gods' hallowed territory, fighting his way to the Divine Gate. But this man is different. He's punished himself. Despite his attempts to resist a god's mischief, this man once known as the Holy King succumbed to darkness in front of the most sacred of gates. Why, hello there, Arthur. I see you still have a bit of consciousness left. Loki. What have you done to me? What is this place I'm trapped in? You sound so angry. Don't tell me you've forgotten everything I've done for you. <laughs> you really are a monster. It's such fun to watch humans get angry when they realize they're not in control. <laughs> I'll visit you again soon. Don't look so sad, my darling little puppet. I did make you a king, after all. Before, uh, it seemed like Arthur was planning some kind of coup to make himself our ruler. I was just trying to do what was best for the council, to stop him by any means necessary. So Arthur was secretly planning to destroy the Divine Gate once he reached it. Exactly. And to keep him from doing so, you took it upon yourself to summon the Scandinavian gods for assistance? That's right. I figured it was our only option. You don't have the authority to make that decision. <laughs> But Loki, he made it sound like... Where is Loki? Why doesn't he speak for himself? I have no idea. So sorry to keep you waiting. Loki! It's an honor to stand before the Six Saints. I come with news about the conspirator Arthur and his personal army, the Knights of Round. You'll be happy to know that all of them are dead. Those saints like to argue because it makes them feel important. They never act on anything. Hey, there's no way you were telling the truth back there, right? You're going to have to be a little more specific. Come on! About Arthur and the Knights of Round all being dead, that must have been a lie! Oh, I see. Tell me, what are you hoping I'll say right now? Damn it! would you be serious?! The truth won't make you happy. 
You and I have both conspired against the Six Saints. We've taken the first step together. That means we share the same fate now. So I don't understand why you're acting like some kind of insolent brat. You're going to have to learn to steal yourself, Oz. All I want to know is the truth about what happened to them. Come on, tell me they're still alive! Loki, some of them were just kids from the Academy! All killed by Scandinavian gods you unleashed. Every last one of them struck down with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Beneath these white gloves, your hands are stained red with blood. Don't pretend like you didn't know what was happening. You are not innocent. Hey, I was wondering when you'd show. Why are you three late? Just making sure we weren't followed. I'm so glad to see <gasps> that you're okay! Mito, are you choking me? Akane was really worried about you too, boss! Shut up! So, what do things look like in the outside world? Well, I'm afraid it's not good news. The Council's trying to track you down. <sighs> Nothing's being reported in the news, though. Not the tower or the expedition or anything like that. They're ignoring it and pretending it didn't happen. Just like the Blue Christmas stuff. Definitely sounds like we can't trust the World Council anymore. On the bright side, we brought the medicine and other supplies you asked for. Awesome. We used up the last of our bandages right before you got here. Hikari, how's your leg healing up? Pretty good, I'll be fine. It looks really painful. <sighs> we need to get going. Really? Already? The Council might get suspicious if we're gone for too long. You've got a good point. Thank you so much. Be safe out there. We'll come back soon, okay? Great. So what do we do now? Any ideas, Santa? Well, probably not a good idea to go running back to the World Council if we're not certain what their plans are. Just think of how this must look to them. They'll think of Arthur as the bad guy, and honestly, I would agree. I mean, he killed Lancelot right in front of you for no reason. In cold blood. He did, but it was weird. Arthur didn't really seem like himself after he reached the gate. Blame the god! Loki was standing right behind him. At this point, we're all in the dark. There's no way to know what happened at the gate. And? I suppose that probably means you don't trust me, either. We don't. But if Santa hadn't come to save us, I don't think we ever would have made it out of there. <laughs> he got it! <laughs> I can't keep this up much longer. Don't worry about me! Just save yourselves! <sighs> Who are you? They call me the children's ally. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate you showing up right in the nick of time, but why were you there in the first place? Because I made a promise to Arthur a long time ago. <laughs> <sighs> made it just in time. <laughs> hey! Come on up here! You're gonna miss it, you guys! Man, you're impatient today. What's so urgent this early in the morning? See for yourselves. Isn't this view amazing? <sighs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful news, my geniuses of divine. The prologue has now come to a conclusion. It's finally time to move on to the main event. Let's begin the Twilight Judgment. Oh, and I thought you might like to know. I'm going to have your son join our little play as well. Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our show's brilliant writer. Ta-da! Huh? Surprise! Ah, hello, hello. 
It's been too long since I've had the pleasure, Shakespeare. Do you have something entertaining planned for me? Oh, I never disappoint. You're gonna love the disaster I've put into motion. Great! Tell me how the story goes! <laughs> yes, why wait? You get out your divine pen, and together we'll write a tragedy. Okay! Is something bothering you? I think I may have gotten some children from the Academy killed. They were so young, probably around your age. <laughs> Mewdy? On that fateful Christmas night, I saw the blue moon shining overhead. <sighs> Wait, you mean the blue Christmas? The Council covered it up. They never told Arthur the truth about what happened there and decided to keep everything a big secret. That's how they operate. The truth about your father's death. Your old friend's whereabouts. The Council has answers. They're keeping things from each and every one of you. How is that possible? What are you talking about? Hold on a sec. What secret is there about Akane's dad's death? And do you know where my friend is? I thought she'd be waiting for me at the gate. Sorry, I don't have that info. The Council has managed to hide it all, even from me. You can blame Loki for that. <clears throat> Loki? After the Blue Christmas tragedy, I started following Loki's movements. He controls the World Council thanks to the help of a group of researchers and scientists called the Geniuses of Divine. This sounds like some kind of crazy conspiracy theory. If your story is true, then what does Loki stand to gain from everything that's happened? He probably wants to harness the power of the Divine Gate. With it, he'd be able to build a new world from scratch. Why would he do that if he's got so much power already? I think that's just the kind of person he is. <laughs> he likes watching people struggle and finds entertainment in humans trying to survive. <sighs> I see, so that's why he stopped Arthur's operation. Spot on. I warned Arthur that Loki was planning to do something. That's one of the reasons he tried to destroy the gate, to protect the world from any more chaos. I knew he'd try to do something extreme, but I never thought he'd do that. What are you going to do now, Santa? Whoever reaches the gate will have the power to determine the future of the entire world. I'm going to save Arthur. I know that it's a lot to ask. But will you please help me? You're not seriously asking if we'll go to the gate again? Yeah, that would be suicide. And why us, anyway? Because Arthur chose all of you for a reason. <laughs> you spend so much time in your own head. And yet you never decide on anything. I'll ask you again. Is it the past you want to change, or the future now? Maybe neither. I just don't know. You're slowly getting closer, Auto. You're discovering your heart. Hey, man. We need to talk. Okay, so what's up? We've decided we're going back to the World Council. Huh? I don't want to be in hiding for the rest of my life. And there's no way we can help the situation from here. But it's far too dangerous for us to go back. Yeah, Loki tried to kill us! True, but we're still alive, aren't we? Maybe Arthur was really in the wrong this time. You're just gonna turn your back on Santa Claus after he saved us? You're forgetting that he could be lying to us for all we know. Will the Council welcome you back? In their eyes, we're all traitors as Arthur's accomplices. They know that we're students. We can't be blamed for following orders. We hardly even knew what Arthur wanted to do. Yeah, that's right. We got mixed up in this by accident. In a way, we're the victims. So then, you don't think we'll get in trouble? Nobody really knows the truth about what happened at the gate, and it's not like we can get any answers while hiding. Uh, he's right. Let's all go back to the Council. I agree. You with us? There is another option. 
We can go to the Divine Gate again. Oh, yeah. No way. Did you not see what happened to Arthur in the Knights of Round there? Yeah, but I'm still gonna go back. Arthur was determined to protect this world, no matter what. The Knights of Round gave up their lives to make sure that his mission was successful. I'd much rather see his version of the world than Loki's, hands down. And I want to know the truth about my dad's death. I'm with him. I've got a friend waiting on the other side of the gate. And I'm not going to abandon her. Please don't be blinded by your emotions. I swear you idiots have gone completely insane. So, Alto, you agree with these two? Yeah, I do. I want answers, too. I need to know what happened that day. Fine, do whatever you want. But when everything goes bad, don't forget that you could have joined us. This means we might not be seeing each other again. Take care of yourselves. I'm sorry. You guys be careful. This isn't right! Don't worry. We won't tell them that we know where you're hiding. Yukari and Hikari both said they don't know anything about the others. But you'll level with me, right, Ginji? I know it's hard, but think of it this way. Now that martial law has been imposed, they're bound to be spotted. If you talk to me, though, we can capture them all safely so that none of them wind up getting hurt. I don't like what you're implying, Loki. Sorry, I have a weakness for thinly veiled threats. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop! We haven't done anything wrong! <laughs> Impossible! This is where the hideout was! Hmm. You replaced their memories? Sort of, but it's really not that impressive. It comes with being Santa, but it is a useful skill if a kid ever sees me. Holy crap! So this means that one of those backstabbers betrayed us! Looks that way, but who knows what the Council did to them. Looks like Santa Claus pulled a fast one and scrambled your brains. What now? I bet you're pretty angry. <sighs> I know how we can find him. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Bad news. It looks like the Council's discovered Santa's hideout. What? They're about to dispatch a raid team. We have to warn everyone while there's still time or else they're toast. We'll head out now. You have to get out! Master! Why? Is something happening? The Candle is on their way here right now! No, they can't be! That's impossible! But Genji told us so. Something's up. Looks like we fell into his trap. Uh. <laughs> Zone generation complete. The building's perimeter is surrounded by autonomous drivers. Fire when ready. There's nowhere to run. Can you hear me? Give up and come on out already! Don't fight this or you could get hurt! I know you didn't agree with me, but if you stay in there, they'll have no choice but to drag you out! Genji. Those losers have completely turned against us! They must mean business if they're using generated zones to attack bot! I apologize. This isn't how I wanted everything to go down. If you've changed your minds and want to return to the Council, go. I get it. Nah, it's too late for that. We're not gonna give up just because of one little setback. Thank you. Then you can leave these guys to me. You sure? Don't worry about a thing. I've still got a few tricks hidden up my sleeve. Initiating attack. This is an automated World Council patrol. Dedicated to ensuring the safety and security of your neighborhood. They're insane if they think that they can take us on. This is an automated World Council patrol. Dedicated to ensuring the safety and security. What was that? <laughs> You're gonna.
gonna end up getting everyone killed, you know! I didn't think there were any underground tunnels still open. This is the perfect escape route. Yeah, and Santa said it goes almost all the way to the Divine Gate. I wonder how close we'll end up. Zone deactivation complete. Maybe they already headed back to go and try to save Arthur. If they did, we may as well have their funerals. Are you already finished with your plotting? Yes, for the time being. Now, let's raise the curtain and get the show started with that special pen of yours. Okay! It's showtime. He's totally got the whole tortured soul of death! <laughs> What's going on? You'll never guess where the plot's going on. 